small dogs in particular, um, any size dog, but more commonly in small dogs, we see a disease called hyperadrenal corticism, which is a, where the adrenal gland becomes too active. And that is most commonly caused by a benign tumor on the pituitary gland, which is the kind of the foreman for the organs in the body or some of the hormone organs in the body. And the pituitary gland gets a benign tumor and that tumor produces a regulatory substance which tells the adrenal glands to go crazy. And when the adrenal glands go crazy, a bunch of different things happen. And one of them is that the dog can no longer concentrate urine. So you see the dog will be producing a lot of urine and then have to drink too much as a result. The dog is drinking to compensate for the fact that he or she is urinating too much. So for that reason, it's really important if your dog is drinking a lot, don't try to fix the problem by taking the water away. The only way to fix the problem is to talk to a veterinarian about what's going on and try to figure out what the root cause is. So the adrenal problems can be addressed in a couple of ways. And uh, one thing we wanna do is find out if it is actually a pituitary tumor. Another type of Cushing's disease, which has exactly the same symptoms, is where there's an actual tumor on the adrenal gland itself instead of on the pituitary, like I was previously mentioning. So the symptoms are exactly the same, but the treatment might be different because in the case of actual adrenal tumors, um, sometimes we want to do surgery so we can remove that tumor and cure the animal's problem that way. You can find some other signs, and that would be a pot-bellied um um, look to your animal, an increase in hair loss so that the fur looks thinner. Muscle wasting. The most common treatment that we use these days is actually a newer drug called Trilostin. Stops the production of uh, adrenal hormones and uh, it's a much better treatment than what we had up until just a few years ago. It uh, has to be very, very carefully monitored because there are some potential dangerous side effects. But overall, uh, it's proven to be quite successful for us. So many of these dogs can live happy, healthy lives for a number of years after diagnosis.